All right, today I'm going to show you the one curve that uh, no media platform would want to show you. I'm not sure why, maybe because they like everyone to stay scared and you know be tuned into their platforms or something. Um, but sure, I haven't seen this curve much on any of the media platform. And um, when it comes to the number of cases of coronavirus or COVID-19, this is the only curve that I recommend anyone to look at. Of course, it has its limitations. We'll talk about it later. But the problem is these days, all the countries or all the media platforms or all, even the governments are always talking about the number of cases. That's the curve that they look at. For example, the CDC in, in the United States. And the media will show this kind of curve and say, oh, these are the number of cases. And maybe, you know, around here, all oh, the, the cases are going up. Uh, the cases are rising. The protests caused rise of cases. Uh, the lifting of the lockdown. You must stay at home. Uh, it doesn't work this way. This is the wrong curve to look at, please. Well, I'm not saying the wrong curve, but this is not the, the, the best curve to look at. There is another curve. This curve is called the rate of positive tests. Now, what is the problem of this curve? Now, these are different days, the, the 26th of June, the 27th of June. Every day, the United States conducts different number of tests. And with every different number of tests, there will be a different number of cases. I cannot compare apples to oranges. So I cannot just say that today I have 100 cases and yesterday I have 50 cases. So it means that today is higher than yesterday. No, this is not accurate because I didn't know how many tests did I do today and how many tests did I do yesterday. So how we do it, we do it like it is done here on the John Hopkins website. It's called the rate of positive test. These tests are normalized the number of positive cases divided by the number of positive tests. So they, gave, they give us a ratio that we may be able to compare to each other. Now, compare this curve. This is the number of cases, which is still, for me, it's not going up. I mean, compare here, for example, on uh, during April, which is during the, the lockdown, we had like 43,000 cases. And then here on June 18th or June 19th, we have 23,000 cases, for example, right? But still, uh, let's say it's not going down that much. But look at this one. This is the rate of positive cases in the United States. And all I can see in this blue line right here, I'll make it a bit bigger for you. All what I can see in this blue line right here, I'm sorry, forgive my dogs, they can't stop barking, is that everything is going down. This, let's say, for example, at its peak, it was 21%, right? Seven day moving average. And then today, or uh, maybe one, what day is that? Maybe June 19th or June 18th. It was 4.7%. So again, let's look at that blue curve. This uh, orange uh, curve, the light orange is the new tests and the uh, dark orange is the positive test. And this is the representation of the tests. So as you can see, it's only going down. Everything looks fine. It's not that bad as media likes you to look at because the media keeps on looking at the number of cases, which is not even spiking that much, but still, so please guys try to find this and in here for example in the United States you can see uh, by you can do it by uh, state and everything but as a whole of course there are some states like for example Florida or Arizona they may have some spikes but overall in the United States everything doesn't look that bad as media wants you to see so please start looking for this curve again it's called the rate of positive tests, uh, which helps us compare the number of cases or positive cases every day based on the number of tests done, which makes more sense. Now, this is not the only thing I want you to look at. Also, I want to tell you how to look at the numbers. I know everyone now is there, you know, that's a very nice website, Worldometer, and everyone wants to look at these numbers. But unfortunately, also what the media shows are these number right, numbers right here. The number of cases, the number of deaths, the number of recoveries. This is what every country announces every day. This is worldwide. Again, this is not what you should be looking at. What we should be looking at is this one right here, these two boxes. Now, with the active cases, let's look at how uh, many or what is the percentage of the critical cases out of the active cases. And here it's 1%. And this is today, June 20th. Now, I've been following this up since April. And in April, this screenshot was taken on April 26th. And the critical cases out of the active cases were 3%. Now, today in June, it's 1%. Okay? The other number or percentage that you need to be looking at is, is the percentage of deaths out of the closed cases. So in here, it's 91 recovered and 9% died. Now, let's look at the same number in April. It was 19 on April 26. And then today, it's going down to 9%. This is worldwide. So generally speaking, worldwide, 
everything is going down. Everything is going fine. Why, why is the WHO keep on saying, um, uh, we are having a second wave, we're going to have a surge, don't, uh, you know, lift the lockdown measures, etc. Et it's, I cannot understand it. Also, why the media is not saying that to, to, to the people? Um, okay, let's look at the United States. If I want to look at something in the United States or any other country, but this is our example today, I will not look, so you go down here, this is the daily new cases. Although I don't see, you know, any scary uh, rise that much. It's just, you know, just, let's say it's in a plateau phase, but this is not what we need to look at. Again, this is the number of cases. This differs every day based on the number of tests. What I want you to look at is the number of fatalities. Now, this is something that we can confirm. This is the daily death. And you can see here, it's only going down. Yeah, there is a mild rise in here in the last day, but Generally speaking, when we compare 2,693 cases on April 21st to uh, 719 cases on June 19th, I think this is going fine, right? So if you want to check, you check the daily death in your country, or let's say, for example, here in the United States, and check this curve, this beautiful curve right here, which is called the rate of positive cases, not the number of cases, okay? So this is the number of cases, how it looks like. This is the fatalities. This is the rate of positive cases that I'd like you to look at. Uh, thank you very much and talk to you in the next video.